You know, anytime I read news about the Evil Dead franchise or I hear anything about the Evil Dead franchise, I just always think, Jane Levy, come back to us. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nick here from the Lost River Drive-In, and today I wanted to talk about The Evil Dead, where the franchise currently stands right now, some rumors that I had heard last year, and where I'm hoping to see it go moving forward. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. I talk all things horror here. I am a freaking nerd. So if you guys remember, Jane Levy was hinting that she was coming back to Evil Dead. Somebody had tweeted at her about coming back to horror, and she said she was very soon. And then a couple weeks later, she posted a photo on her Instagram stories of her wearing an Evil Dead shirt and it said felt this was fitting for today dot 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 and that got the world in a tizzy everybody was freaking out I did a short about it because I followed up with Brad Miska from bloodydisgusting.com and he couldn't confirm whether or not that was what was happening but he said yeah it makes sense and he had heard similar things there had been rumors going around online about it too so this was there was smoke to this fire well, it got even smokier when Jane Levy decided to delete those two tweets on her account. They are no longer there. Now, I screenshotted them back then, so I know they happened, and a lot of you guys saw them too, but she went back and deleted them when rumors started circulating that maybe she was coming back. Now, this goes back even further because during the Evil Dead Rise promotional tour before the movie came out, Jane Levy was present on the tour. Now, a lot of people were like, oh, well, yeah, they had all the women of Evil Dead that were on the tour. Yes, but Jane Levy had made a point to say that she was distancing herself from horror. Right after Don't Breathe, she said she didn't want to do it anymore, and she hadn't done it to her credit. So to see her come back on this promotional tour for the next Evil Dead movie, and then to be dropping cryptic things on social media like that, it led everybody to draw the conclusion that she was coming back to the Evil Dead franchise, especially when she backtracked and deleted everything because, oh no, did I spill the beans? So... That is something that was very much in the works, but with the recent announcements we've gotten from the Evil Dead franchise, I don't know what's happening there. So, if you guys remember, earlier this year, it was reported that we were getting a spin-off of the Evil Dead franchise directed by Sebastian Vanacek. Now, I could be pronouncing that wrong. He is the director of a movie that recently came out, it's available on Shudder, called Infested, and it is disgusting. Look... I hate, I hate, hate, hate spiders. If you guys know anything about me, you know I hate them. Watching that movie will make you squirm. Until the end where it gets a little bit over the top and more like eight-legged freaks and that stuff doesn't scare me. But the realistic spider stuff, no thanks. He showed me in that movie that he can really handle like suspense and fear while also delivering on the just gross out nasty. So he really does look perfect for Evil Dead. Here's my problem with it though. The press release about this said that this was going to be set in the same universe, but it very specifically said it was going to be a spinoff. Well, if it's a spinoff and set in the same universe, it would lead you to believe that this is not going to have Jane Levy. It's not going to have Lily Sullivan as Beth. It's not going to have Bruce Campbell as Ash. It's probably going to be a new family or a new person that we're following. That kind of makes me question things because... It has been established through the lore that there are three books. We have now seen all three books in existence. So if somebody, especially if it's a modern tale, is going to get their hands on a book, it's going to have to be directly connected to one of those previous stories. And you would want some connective tissue there. Now, in spinoffs, a lot of times you can get that, but anytime they say it's going to be a spinoff, it automatically makes me think, okay, well, this isn't going to follow up on a lot of the threads, if any, from previous movies. Now, then, a couple months later, we got another announcement about another Evil Dead movie. April, it was announced that director Francis Galluppi, or Galluppi, I don't know, it's, it's a foreign name, I don't want to mispronounce it, I'm sure it's one of those two pronunciations, was going to be directing a new original story also set in the Evil Dead universe. Now, this one did not mention spinoff so maybe there will be more ties to these previous films but it said it was an original story now Sam Raimi is clearly trying to build the Evil Dead franchise out Evil Dead Rise was a big hit so it's natural that we're going to see multiple movies they said they had wanted to do that and this is exciting for Evil Dead fans because you can't get enough Deadites I mean I'm speaking for myself but I think a lot of you who are Evil Dead fans feel the same way but again, in both of these press releases, neither sound like a sequel or a continuation in any form from any of the previous stories we've seen. And to that, I just ask, 
Why? That brings me back to my massive point and my massive issue that I have had with the Evil Dead franchise throughout my entire life. I love this series. It is one of my favorite horror franchises ever. I do not understand why this series cannot pick up where it left off ever. It seems to have a good movie or have a hit and then go in a different direction. Look at Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness wasn't a massive hit box office wise, but it was a cult hit. And for years and years, people wanted a fourth Evil Dead film. Well, when we finally got one, they gave us a reboot. Now, I love the reboot. Do not get me wrong. It's my second favorite in the series. But a lot of people that wanted to see more Ash were disappointed. Well, the reboot comes out, does really well, gets great reviews, and most fans seem to really enjoy the movie. And then they drop that and they reboot it again in a way with Evil Dead Rise. And while I really enjoyed Evil Dead Rise, not on the level of 2013, but still, we had this promising character in Mia, played by Jane Levy, that there is no way years ago you could have convinced me that somebody was going to come into the franchise in place of Bruce Campbell and be right there, right on par. Someone you really wanted to see continue on. But it happened with Jane Levy, and I was really bummed to see them not follow that up. And then, now we have Evil Dead Rise, it does well commercially and critically, and it sounds like, again, they're starting from scratch with new stories. And it just irks me, because I've never known a franchise that can do so well and have such a good thing, and then just move on to the next one. Now, to some people, that may be awesome, because you don't like the episodic sequel thing, you like to see new things, and that's great. But... Why introduce such great characters that people are going to get attached to if you're not going to follow up with them? You know, we can't help it. I have OCD. I want to see completion to these people's stories in different ways, and we just haven't gotten it yet. So, Evil Dead is such a frustrating franchise. On one hand, it's great that there are new projects coming out of this property, and I will be there day one to see all of them. On the other hand, I'm sitting here screaming, where is Jane Levy? Where is Mia? Now, I know a lot of people are like, where's Ash? You know, well, I'll take Ash. Don't get me wrong, but I'm cool with Bruce retiring. If that's how he truly feels, I'm cool with that. But where is Jane Levy? There's a very small chance that anybody associated with this product is going to see this video. But if you do, I know for a fact Jane Levy coming back to Evil Dead was in the works. I don't know if she's going to be a part of these recently announced movies, but it sounds like she won't be if they're both original stories and spinoffs. So I am begging you, Ghost House Pictures, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, bring Jane Levy back to Evil Dead. Back up the Brinks truck. Give her as much money as she wants. And don't make the experience as miserable for her this time. Please, it's what the fans want. It's what I want. I need to see it. My OCD will not let me let it go. But guys, there's an update on the Evil Dead franchise and why it's so frustrating at times. I want to hear down below in the comment section what you think about these recent announcements and the future of the Evil Dead franchise and really just the franchise as a whole. Does it also bother you that they seem to just drop these storylines one after the other and move on to something new? Please discuss with me in the comment section. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Nick. Thank you so much for stopping at the Lost River Drive-In. But I'm pulling out.